historic, it's monumental. I, say, I would say nothing has occurred like this in Loudoun County, maybe in the state of Virginia since Brown versus Board of Education. Robin Reeves Burks is Chair of Education for NAACP Loudoun Branch. She says the investigation into the Academies of Loudoun, a specialized STEM program for advanced students within Loudoun County Public Schools, started over two years ago when her son was denied admission. Um, my son, straight-A student since elementary school, applied to the academies and was denied instantly, like he didn't even make it to the final round. So I knew something had to be wrong. In March of 2019, she worked with NAACP to file a formal complaint with the Attorney General's office. Hi, PAC is back. And we'll focus a little bit more on the terms of conciliation that was awarded to the NAACP for their their claims of discrimination in Loudoun County Public Schools. Uh, I'm gonna to read to you an excerpt that, was, that came from A.G. Herring's final determination and then kind of explain just a little bit why this is a hoax. And this is a quote from the final determination. Following a thorough independent investigation that included interviews and extensive review of documentation and form information provided by the charging party, respondent and LCPS students, families and employees the Office of Attorney General Division of Human Rights finds there is reasonable cause to believe that Loudoun County Public Schools administration of the Academies of Loudoun program resulted in a discriminatory disparate impact on Black, African American, and Latinx Hispanic students who applied to the Academy of Engineering and Technology and the Academy of Science programs in the fall of 2018 admission cycle for enrollment in the ninth grade class of 2019-2020. Let's, let's make some one, a couple of things clear here. Number one, the fall 2018 admission, that is the first year that AOL, Academies of Loudoun, was opened. Okay, the very first year. So there is no track record of Academies of Loudoun having uh, uh, discrimination problems in their school. That's number one. Number two, when a student applies to get into Academies of Loudoun, there is no checkbox for race or religion or, you know, what do you self-identify as or any of that stuff, right? It's completely irrelevant. What is relevant is, is the student, regardless of race, have the ability to pass the requirements and the admission criteria to get into the school, period, the end. It's called merit-based. Um, so therefore, people reviewing the applications and the test scores have no idea what the ethnicity is of the student that is applying. Um, you're going to hear Robin Burke, you know, cry about how her son had straight A's from kindergarten all the way up through the time he applied to get in here, but he didn't get in. And she knows why. No, she doesn't. Because my son applied the same year. He didn't get in. I don't look like her. I didn't cry. What did my son do? He buckled down and he got in two years later. That's what you do. You don't create a, a legal case out of thin air with no evidence or fact. Now, if you remember when I talked about reasonable cause, that was the AG's determination of reasonable cause. Reason, reasonable cause is a second to lowest standard, legal standard uh, that can be used. The only one below it is a hunch or a belief, not even probable cause, right? It, it, it's, it's right in the middle. So all you hear is people talking about, oh, Loudon's discriminatory, you know, discriminatory practices. Prove it. Prove it. We have to take the word of who? Maybe your kid just didn't test well. And maybe you go back and you test again and you try to get in. That's what my kid did. That's what normal kids do. You don't sit there and get a, a file a lawsuit because of the color of your skin. This is ridiculous. So this is a fraudulent discrimination complaint that resulted in the NAACP's terms of conciliation being instituted into Loudoun County Public Schools. Now, I would suggest to you that if AG, AG, um, excuse me, AG Mieres looks into this, he won't find reasonable cause to turn this over. He will find more than probable cause to turn this over because this is fraudulent as the day is long. And while I can't prove it, I think there's a lot of collusion going on here. 
just to keep Michelle Thomas happy and Robin Burke. So just a quick recap, reasonable cause, just above a hunch. Number two, AOL did not op opened up into the fall 2000 or yeah, 2018. First year it was open. So there is no track record of discrimination for the school. And point number three, when students apply, there is no box to check on your race, your ethnicity, your religion, whatever gender you feel like, any of that stuff. It's all merit-based. Can you do it or can you not do it? Did you prepare well enough or did you not prepare well enough? Well, I mean, that's really how it goes. 